Hey, what's up, Zombie Boss here. Today we're gonna to be on Skyrim going over the fastest way to get to level 100 smithing so you can get those Daedric artifacts, not artifacts, but Daedric weapons, armor, and even dragon bone and dragon scale armors and whatnot. So this all starts here at Yorling Greymane. This is gonna be kind of a glitch to get out of the map and get his inventory right here. You can see he's got those ebony ingots, iron ingots, all the leather, and just a ton of ores that you can use to craft with. So what we're going to do here is make sure he has a full inventory of things and then you're going to want to go to this rock right here just right across from him, whirlwind, whirlwind sprint onto this next roof and then find your way up on this beam. Um, if you've climbed a mountain in this game, you know you just walk back and forth, spam Y and you'll eventually get up there. Now this is the hard part about this whole entire thing is you have to get on top of this little... Uh, like head figure right here probably the hardest part about this whole entire thing because you just can't make this jump sometimes and i'm not gonna let make y'all sit through this whole thing so we're gonna come back when i actually get up here because it does take like two minutes maybe okay so as you see right there i finally got up it just takes a readjusting and jumping so what you're going to want to do get right on top of it and then whirlwind sprint again to land on this piece right here if you look to the left or you look to the right, you're going to miss it, so be careful of that. And be sure to land on that rock right there as well, because if not, you're going to take a lot of fall damage. And I have, I'm have, i upwards of like level 30 in this gameplay, so uh, I, pro I have like 240 health. If you're doing this at like level 9 and you have like 160 health, you may die if you don't hit that. So just follow where I'm going here. Uh, go straight through that rock and then this chest right here has his whole inventory stashed away in it as i'm trying to point out there uh, sometimes you can't get it from standing there so just jump while you're jumping press a when you land you'll get in it and his whole inventory is right here so uh, you take all the ingots out of it the gold out of it and if you um, if there's anything really valuable in there that you can carry because i think here i go over my carry weight um and then have to drop some stuff but uh if he has anything valuable like um like maybe like an ebony sword that you can sell later on definitely grab that because that'd be useful so here i just i'm looking around for something to drop because i'm overweight um and if you drop something right here it'll always be here like say i dry drop this how much glass or whatever because i'm building the house right now i'll drop that that glass will be there always like it doesn't fall through the map it'll just sit right there so um <clears throat> yeah that's the way to get the uh, stuff out of his chest the next thing that you're going to want to do is follow the way i'm going here uh you're not going to fall through the map so don't worry about it you're just gonna go under your vasker right there and then come out to where the stairs that go up and then you'll just walk right through the stairs um you can't get back in and in unfortunately you have to go back up to the beginning of the glitch but uh, here what I do is I'll get all the stuff from him and then I'll run over to the other forge over here like I'm doing now. Um, I think this forge is a lot more uh, accessible and easy to use. There's a tanning rack, there's a blacksmith forge, there's a smelter, a lot more stuff that you can actually use. As you can see here in this video, I'm going to get my um, level 100 smithing, max it out. Now I have all my stuff because this is an archer build because i'm working on an archer build as well so um yeah just make your make all the armor that you can out of the stuff that you pulled from his chest and then once you make all that armor uh, assuming you don't want it you can turn around and this lady's got um usually a thousand gold on her unless you have your uh speech skill upgraded a bunch then she has however much money but uh once you make all your items to uh, level up, like say you have like five leather armor, five iron armor, and like an orcish armor, you can sell it to her or you can go inside and actually sell it to the guy that's in there. Like I'm doing now, I'm gonna sell that. And just sell some of the stuff that I took out of his chest. And in this video right here, I've only been doing this for about, I'd say 20 minutes. And when I started, I only had around 3,000 gold. So if you're doing it a lot and you continue to do it, it won't take you very long to get this all the way up to however much smithing you want. Um, 
the uh, the hardest thing about it is like i said that jump to get on top of that figurehead to whirlwind sprint out of the map um another big thing with this is um after a while you're gonna have to go back up to uh yorlin gray main and do his uh th thing again you're gonna have to find his um inventory again so what i would recommend is just go up there wait 24 hours check his inventory if it's not restocked go into um the companion's place wait in there for an hour come back if it's not restocked just keep on waiting and eventually he will restock all of his items and then you just repeat the process and uh, you can get a lot of gold this way you can definitely level up your smithing but um yeah i really hope y'all enjoyed this video found it useful if you did definitely smash the like on this video more skyrim stuff is going to be coming out very soon i'm grinding it out to get it out for y'all so definitely be looking out for it anyways my name has been zombie boss and i am out peace